Kene, I want to ask you, why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill your mother, Ichimumu? Or Gene? Mama, I have not told you I want to kill you. I have no such plan, so I don't want to kill you. But if you have decided to die, the only thing I owe you is a befitting burial. How well will you shut up? You look so well. Boy, I said you should shut up. What is wrong with you? You disgraced me in my own house because of that girl. Mama here brought a girl from the village. You threw the girl out of your house. Ezine brought another person. You walked Ezine out of your house. What has come over you? I ask you, boy. Who and what do you think you are? All we are trying is to fix your life for you and you are here misbehaving. Oh, wow. eh? When will you get senses into your brain? What do you think I am? 17? Or you think I'm a toddler that you toss around at will? Is that it? You want to take decisions over my life for me? Listen, let me tell you, I won't have you do this to me. I am old enough, old enough to take my decisions. That's why a reputable bank found me worthy to head a department in that bank. Henceforth, I will not have anything to do with any decision you take. I will decide who I live with, who I stay with, and how I run my life. I allowed you meddle in my affairs before because I wasn't ready to start a family. But now that I'm ready to build a home, I will not have you dictate to me how to live. Ada, did I choose your husband for you? Did I? And you, Ezine? I wasn't there when you met that idiot you were dating. That lousy drunkard that you kept and feed. A man that's not even responsible for himself. And you sit here and talk to me about sense of judgment? Really? Don't try it again. And let me warn all of you. Let this be the last time you bring any girl my way. I'm not here to sample girls. Girls are not commodities. They're not groceries. You walk into a supermarket and pick. I have found a woman I want to marry and she's the one I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. If you don't like it, all of you can bloody well go to hell. Oh, is that why you started traditional uh, uh, marriage uh, proceedings without consulting anybody? Oh. It is an abomination! Oh, sorry. Yeah. Eh? If you like, you attend. If you don't, you sit your butts out back in that house. There is no way it is written anywhere in any law that I have to go for my traditional marriage with my mother and sister. And what I bet they are. Hey! Hey, you are a fool! You are a very huge fool! Why is it? Hey, Sinle, if you open your mouth and call me a fool in my house, I swear to God, I will slap you! You will not know what hits you. And I am saying to you again that you are a fool! You are a big fool! Hey! Oh my boy! Boy, what have you done? What have you done? You raised your hand and slapped your elder sister? And I will slap anybody who raises her voice to call me a fool in my house. What is wrong with all of you? And when any moon on this see, don't you have sense? Can you not see you're driving me nuts? What the fuck is wrong with you? If anybody does it again, it goes to the other side of me. Oh. Itogo, you've grown. After learning two, three, four letter words, you have arrived. We each it. Eh? Isn't it was right? Ekenechukun, you're a big fool. Sister Abokwana me fool. Abokwana me fool again. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Eh? Nah. You are sending your mother out of your house. If you don't get out of this house, I will throw you out of this house. Get out of my house! Mama, 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 calm oh. down. Mama, calm down. Mama, relax. He said no. Oh, oh, got you, put it. Get out of my house! Get back in. Oh, so go. I'm going. Get in there. I'm going to be doing this one. I'm going to be doing this one. I'm going to be doing this one. You can get in my house. I'm going to be doing this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out! I can you, survive. You think you can survive without me? I will survive without you. Really? <laughs> Boy, I give you two weeks. I give you two weeks to come running back to us. I get it. If you see me coming back to you, then know it's sand. I just did it. Be fine, I'll be Get out of my house. Really? Out! Let me see you here, you little shots. You think I'll let you run my life for me? Dumb fox. She knew this. <laughs> <laughs>
Tell me what to do, what to eat, what to wear, where to go, who to see, who not to see. I've never been given an opportunity to take any decision for myself. It's as though I'm a vegetable. I can't do anything. I'm not capable of handling my own affairs. No. I'm a full-grown man. I should be allowed to do things myself. If it fails, then it becomes my business. It's okay, darling. It's, it's okay. Calm down. At least you've told them all, so it's fine. To my prayers and yesterday no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside. On Popul of Belief, there's no kind of insult he did not give on us. The girl he said he wants to marry broke a bottle and threatened to stab Ezine and I. Josiano, is that not what we're talking about? The kind of girl that will break a bottle and threaten a fellow man. Eh? Is she not a club girl? Is it not in the club that you pick such girls? That's not the only thing. Do you know that Kenneth slapped Ezine left, right, and center? He wanted to dislocate her job. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Oh, no, no, I couldn't believe it. Can you imagine that Ekene walked us out of his house and threatened to cut, in short, he cut us off. Why? Because we tried to advise him on the kind of girl to marry. On we fed in Jonia. In this land, before a man marries a woman, Ndi Befa will go and investigate the woman's background mm -hmm. to be sure she's good enough. Or real. Mm -hmm. Ekene is getting married. Did he tell you anything? As the head of the family, on my face, I bought you, Wally. I've heard you. I will call again, Ejuku. And find out where all this is coming from. <laughs> you push your stake, come. Hmm? I will talk to him. We are all women. We are all women, and we are bothered. And actually, look at one each year. We don't want our name to be lost. Because if anything happens to Ekene, he's the only child. I bought Yanni, a friend and so what? Do you oh, God forbid. Nothing will happen to him. I will talk to him. Please. Nam, please talk to him because he's the only son. If we look for Ekene and we don't find him, we're finished. You know the girls of these days, you know how they are. Hey! All these girls he brings around, all they want to do is marry Ekene. They are after his money. They will marry him, then they will kill him and take over everything. But never allow him to happen. Then better talk to him. No, talk, talk to, to him. him more. I will. Oh. Uncle, please. You need to be first about this. Hi! 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 And you do lie. That kind of slap. I don't know what is wrong with boy. I'm going to be finished here. He can slap his neck. Honestly. Left, right and center. And said that he would cut, in short, he had cut all of us off because of a woman. Hello? Hey, can I check you? 
It is me, Mbakwe. Whoa. Uncle Mbakwe, greetings. I was even meaning to call you. And since you don't want to remember us, we decided to remember you now. Yeah, I was going to call you really because I want to come back to the village. It's very important. Bam! That means we are thinking along the same lines. Because I was actually uh, planning to call you to come and see me. But now that you called, please, I want to see you. Fine, I already have plans of coming to see you, Uncle. Please, don't fail. It is important you come. I will, sure will. Is that the way to welcome somebody to your house? Mind your business. I wasn't talking to you. By the way, why did you bring her into this compound? Eh? After all she did to us. We came to see you and for her to know this place and for us to see Uncle Mbakwe. Hmm. So we can start talking about the marriage. Please. You, a boy in Dewa, you threw me out of your house. Okay? What are you doing here? What are you doing in my own house? Because leave. Point of correction. This house is my father's house. <laughs> And as the only son, it is more of my house than it is yours. Do you know who builds the house? No, please. please, take this woman out of this compound. After the way you treated us, you cut my daughters and I off because of this woman. Okay? Biko, get out of my compound. Can be able to go that? I have a right. I am not interested. Give him a metuliaka. Don't calm him down. He's my son. I can argue with him. He's none of your business. Yes! And as I'm talking, you're doing eye like that, like that. Rubbish! Because, see, look, you people get out of my compound, carry your motor and leave. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I hope you don't take these things to heart. I know Mama, she's my mother. Just don't worry. She might go on with this initially, but eventually she has no choice but to accept you. Darling, your wife is strong at heart. Listen, I made up my mind to marry you. The very first day you told me all about what Mama and your sisters mm -hmm. have been doing to the ladies you bring. So, I am ready. I came prepared. Trust There's nothing you. to worry about. <laughs> Carry your car go. Carry your car go. Uncle Mbakwe. Yeah. Good evening. You have just you have come, eh? Yes, I just came now. I went to the house to see my mother and decided to. I was on my way to your place. Oh, I see. It's part of the reason that I've come. Yeah. Okay. It's not something we'll stand on the road and discuss. Let's get inside. Okay, Uncle Peter. No. Okay, give me one. No. <laughs> Uncle Mbakwe. Uncle, you know how people say that um, when a man is old enough, he needs a woman by his side as a companion. And he who finds a wife, he said, has found a good thing. So I have come today with Uloma, the girl I want to marry, to introduce her to you and the family. <coughs> you found a very beautiful woman. Thank you, Uncle. And you also, you did the right thing by bringing her to me. Thank you, Uncle. Good. Now, how are you? 
Very well, sir. Good. Uh, you are welcome in my house. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Olu. Olu? Yes, sir. Olu. I know Olu so well. <laughs> I'm a Olu of money. Mm. Olu? Who is your father? Dr. Uzodimaybe, sir. Dr. Uzodimaybe? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very small world. Dr. Uzodimaybe is a very good friend of mine. I'm really serious. We were schoolmates. We were together at Hope Waddell. <laughs> He's a very good man. Ah. Hope Waddell, Calabar. I'm telling you. Whoa. My daughter, you are, welcome. you are welcome to my house. Thank you so much, sir. That's true. <laughs> wow. Yes. Uh, but I had you broke a bottle for your mother-in-law and your sisters-in-law. Where did you learn that from? Um, Uncle, we were just acting. Ekena and I discussed that before. I carried out that act. He had told me that they would stand against us. So I did it just to make them know that we are serious. Yes, sir. Which is part of the reason I came. Uncle, you know the number of women I've brought home that they have rejected. You were the one I always came to for complaint. You don't have to say much. Your mother and your sister that came here to complain how you slapped his in neck and chased them out of the house and said that you cut off the links, any link with them. And above all, that you go for your traditional marriage without inviting them. Is that true? Uncle, there was no way I would do that. Okay? I slapped Izine because she she first tried to drag Ulam out of the house, out of my house, because they didn't want me to marry her. Upon that, she called me a fool. Irrespective of anything, I am a man and I will have no woman call me a fool in my own house. You've spoken like a man. Yes, Uncle. And come next week, Saturday, we are intending to go see her people. That's part of the reason I came to see you. There's no way I would go on that kind of journey without you and my family. I need Ezine. I need Ada. I need my mother. I want you to help me talk with them. Let us make peace. Because I've decided Uloma is the one I'm getting married to, whether they like it or not. And she has to be part of this family. So just talk to them, let's make peace, and let peace reign in this family. Oh, good I have natural. There must be peace. Um, I will speak with your mother. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle. You are Thank welcome. You. you are welcome. You might not have agreed with the choices he made before, but this time, I think Ekede has made the right choice. Ulama here. He's the daughter of my very good friend and schoolmate, Dr. Zodim Mibe, from Olu. Anybody that comes from Ibe's lineage must be a good person. And I believe Ulama here is a good girl also. As for what happened in the past between you, your daughter and the <laughs> Let me say that Ekele is trying to assert himself as a man. Oh yes. And the right to choose someone he will live and spend the rest of his life with is solely his. So let us cheat the sword and allow peace to reign in this family, please. Bikono, Bikono.
Mama, I am... I am sorry that coming into Ekene's life has brought you so much pain. I love Ekene. I love him with all my heart. He's the best thing that's happened to me in my entire life. I am compelled to love anyone who is associated with him too. Because I cannot say I love him and not love his mother and his elder sisters. I promise to be a good wife to him and a good daughter-in-law too. You promise? I promise. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama. You are my mother. Sure I have no mother. Isn't there an attack by my sisters? I have no other sisters. And if you want me to be that only son who will make this family proud, all I'm begging is for you to support me to marry Uloma. She's a good girl. That way we will have peace. And, 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 and Mama, I, I promise I will never raise a bottle again, for it is not who I am. You promise? I yes. promise. Oh, my God, come on, Mama. Oh, man, go in the bottle. And you must come for my wedding, no? Oh, boy, you can't wait to see me. 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 You see that slap you gave me that you will pay heavily. Uh, Name your uh, price uh, and I will pay. Please, please, please. Don't allow me to pick another bottle here. Uh, don't let me pick another bottle here. Hey, when you broke that bottle, eh? I thought as in the year was already dead. I can imagine that piece. When I did that, I thought I had caught myself. Huh. I've seen some bad boys do it before, you know, on TV, and I had to follow suit. <laughs> you did it so well that I thought you were an expert. <laughs> really? I yeah. tell you, once you graduate, you yeah. join Nollywood. <laughs> you will make an excellent actor. I know. Your I know. So. <laughs> yeah, this boy. Hmm. What? Hmm. You don't have respect. For? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you. Mm. Come. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come, let's go to the kitchen. This girl is oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This boy, my husband, has finished all the cooked food in my house. I don't have anything to feed my husband. I don't know why he's been eating. Get up. Oh, he's too much. He's eating too much. Oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. Hey. Is it what? There's this friend of mine, very handsome. He said he's looking for a medical doctor to marry. Should I introduce him to you? Hmm. I hope it's not like him. Don't even mention that name when we are talking about prospects. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think any name to win him. But if you people showed me pepper. You people really showed me pepper. By your big sister, so. We are protecting you. Mm. We were protecting you. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> nah. Eh? You're tired from washing. Why don't you leave these things? When your wife comes back, she will wash the clothes for you. Ah, uh -uh, Mama. Pity the young girl now. You know when she's done helping me with chores in this house, she'll still have to go to her mother to help her too. Ah, her mother. Talking about her mother, when do we get to see her? You know, we really need to hurry up, Paul, because uh, I want to bring this girl in. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Okay, now, Susie, why are you like well, that? 
Mama? Huh? Oh, I said. I remember how you fought me because of Uloma. Now you cannot wait to have her in your house. Eh, that was then now. On our mother had a messy mistake. It was a mistake. You see, you only get to know people when you bring them close to you. Then you get to know that they are good. She's a beautiful and fine girl and I like her. You're right, Mama. Mm. That's true. So, when, when are we going to see her people? Soon. I, I initially planned for us to go this weekend, but the father is not in the country. They travel to the UK. He'll be back uh, next week, so we put it for next week, Saturday. Uh -huh. Yes. So, have you finished all the arrangements? Is there anything we can help you mm -hmm. with? Or, uh... There's nothing you can help me do, Zoeke. Everything that needs to be done has been done. Most especially, we have told our uncles in the village to get ready. That's what matters to me. So come next week Saturday. I can't wait. I cannot wait. You cannot wait for me to get married or for you to have Loma's daughter-in-law. Is it not the same thing? But I give one Yesika. If he me Loma. That's the kind of woman I wanted for you. You gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that finally you have uh, liked Loma. Before, it's just that the likeness has increased. I, I like all of them. It's just condition. Mama, we are going to see you far away. We are going to do now. We are going to do now. Where? This Saturday. The father is coming in, so we scheduled for Saturday. <laughs> you know what? What? When I look at you, I marvel. You marvel? Why? Do you remember the night? We introduced to Loma to you. Come off that. And how you refused to go out. <laughs> and look at how fast everything has progressed. Yes. Here I am seated. Talking about accompanying you to her parents' house to commence marriage proceedings. I mean, everything is fast-paced. This is what I call a whirlwind romance. A whirlwind? <laughs> Come off it, bro. We've not for three months, he and I. Precisely. Which man dates a woman for three months and decides to marry her? Hey, I've seen shorter liaisons, okay? I mean, then what's the point anyways? I thought about it. We're compatible. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. She does seem so. Why wait? You know, I must tell you the truth. There was only one thing on my mind when I decided to do what I did. And that was to get you... Getting a girl who will help you surmount all your problems until you're able to get one, I mean a decent one you can marry. <laughs> that must be the joke of a century. Who else can be more appropriate than a woman who makes my heart beat fast? The sound of her voice sends shivers down my spine. Each time I think about her, I just see myself walking down the aisle with her arms in mine. Uh, I come back. Come, come, come back from Wonderland before you get a sack. <laughs> Not to worry. I'll stop on Saturday. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, man, for that intro. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Woo. Let me see your miserable nights here again. Fast and do good chicken opportunities. I mean, what are you still doing here? No, what are you still doing here? Now pick those up, miserable Gogoro, whatever you call it, I'll leave now. You don't want to leave, eh? Wait for me. I'm coming. Please calm down, please. What do you mean by calm down? Go and tell those people there. I don't want to see those, those gold digging opportunities in my house. Go and tell them to leave this one. I will do something that I will regret and you will regret also. Tell them to leave. Oh no, oh my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Dear Mbappe, you cannot eat it. Can 
sometimes I wonder how to go about it. That's not funny at all. Oh. Yeah, hello, Uloma, what's up, babe? What? How, how can your father do a thing like that? Really? Oh, hello, babe. Babe. Is there anything the matter? Yes. Uloma just called me now to tell me that Ekene and his people came to our house for the traditional marriage introduction. And her father refused them. Why? I don't know. I think I have to see her. Okay? Hello? Ekene? What is this I'm hearing? What do we call that? Class consciousness or what? Rubbish. I think at this point we owe some people an apology. Chelopa, did we offend Dr. Uday? I mean, why should we apologize to him? I am not talking about Dr. Ibe. No, I, am, I am talking about those gifts you and your daughters rejected when they brought them. I was not the only one that rejected them all. It's called family rejection. Our family did not reject anybody. It was you and your daughters. Okay, so which way forward now? The way forward is that we should call that over again and apologize to her. She has a strong spirit. Strong spirit indeed. Well, let me start going since you don't want to accept my suggestion. But he has not said no. I understand English. What I do not understand is the statement that he is compelled to say no. What does that mean? Is he going to marry his daughter? He's spoken highly of me, which means he likes me. I understand the exam part. I, for one, will not have my daughter compromise her exams on account of marriage. So, who or what is compelling him to say no? Well, I am of the opinion that you've taken this matter to heart. And I don't think it's necessary. Insofar as I'm concerned, the man is bothered about his wealth. He told you that Uloma is his only child and his heir. He's only concerned about who he will bequeath his wealth to. And whoever marries Uloma gets everything he has worked for. In other words, he's suspecting me to be a gold digger? I don't want to put it in those words. For Christ's sake, I'm a working class man. I'm a banker. I work hard for my money. What does he have that he thinks I cannot work hard to make? All I want is just to love his daughter and marry her. That is it. I'm not after his wealth. He doesn't say it that way, does he? If that's how he says it, then nobody will marry the girl. It has to be someone with a deep pocket. <laughs> that's rubbish. I mean, that's bad that. Is it actually about money or a man she'll be happy spending the rest of her life with? Is that it? I tell you something, Ekene. Without money, there is no happiness.
Actually, I'm not anymore about this Yemi guy. Not that I have anything against Yoruba guys, but you know how they are. Like Ekene pointed out the other time. This guy is dependent on you. You are the one paying all the bills. Isn't it? Can't you see that this guy doesn't have anything tangible doing for a living? Are you willing to cope with all that? Sister, I am 32 years old. In the next few years, I'll be an old maid hanging on the shelf. Fine. Yemi is a Yoruba boy. Yeah. I don't have anything with that, anything wrong with, about that. I'm cool. If I am not appreciated here, let me go to where people love me. Sister, sincerely, I don't have any issue with him being you, but he's, he's, a, he's a Nigerian, and that is cool. What does he do? He's into government uh, contracts. Uh, yes, um, I, I know that uh, the few ones he's been doing uh, uh, has not been yielding positive results. Well, I, I know that he has done some in the past, and of course I believe they will yield fruit positively, even if they do not. He's from a rich family, the only son. And for eventually the father will die soon and then he's going to inherit all the property. Even if he does not inherit the property, I do not care. Sincerely, I am not after his money. I am a medical doctor and I earn good income. We can live on that. Isn't it? That is not good enough. You don't get married on speculations. What if anything happens to your practice tomorrow? What if his father refuses to die? And what if government contracts dry up? Can't you see there are many if? Sister. Sister, I want to get married. You are in your home with your children. I want to have mine too. Yes. This is the first time in a long while someone asked me to marry him and meant it. So this one, I'm not letting it go. Since it seems like you've made up your mind, I can't stand against you. Thank you. What is bothering me most now is about Ekene's issue. I don't know how to go about it. There is no issue there. What do you mean? Yes, because <laughs> that man will say yes. Obviously. That is every woman's dream. Yeah, I've, I heard about that man in medical school that is a very tough man. Oh. But my brother is every man's dream for his daughter. That one is solid, it's not an issue. There's nothing there to worry about. Yeah. Hey, young woman. Good morning, Where are you going again? Huh? Do you still live in this house or you've turned it to a, a stopover motel for you? I don't understand, Daddy. You don't understand? You don't understand? You think I'm blind? You think I don't see? Huh? You, 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 you leave very early and return very late? That is if you care to return at all. Huh? You jump around with that young man who came here to inquire about you the other time. Look, let me tell you. That man is not your husband. And he will never be. Oh, yes. When you are ready to marry, we will look for a man with the same pedigree with you. Yes. So if I were you, I will start breaking the link that bond two of you together. Because that's the right thing to do. Yeah, but my, my love... Just I'm... shut up. Did I ask for your opinion? I'm just trying to... You're trying to do what? I don't want to hear from you. Look at you. You can't even give me a song. Yes. 
Now that I have a daughter that I will give her to somebody that can be my heir, you are here interfering. Nonsense. Did you hear that? Did you hear what your grandchild said to me? Because of you. Oh, God. Oh. You're the answer to my prayers, and yes to the no says, and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. Back with good evening, sir. Hi, praise. Sir. Is this you? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> You're not looking bad at all. Who? <laughs> oh. uh, I was talking about you today that we owe you an apology. Oh, day. You don't owe me an apology. <laughs> See, oh. day, I've learned that God is the only one that can give one true happiness. A man can give you the happiness. Yes. So you don't owe me an apology. Oh. Only God that can give one true happiness. They I almost died of heartbreak. <sighs> no. I cannot do a thing like that. Eh? Did you in any way engage in a fight with him? No, Uncle. I'm just coming from his mother's house now. She just confirmed that she and her daughters do not want me to get married to their son. <sighs> they did not mention that to me. Can you just came here to tell me that, to tell me about your marriage proposal he had with you and the possible marriage rights? Uncle, maybe they are right. Maybe I'm not good enough for him. What crime did I commit? Because I'm from Oweri. Is it because I'm from Oweri, Uncle? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Eh? I'm sorry about that. I will invite Ekene so I can talk with him. But just know that sometimes bad things happen for good things to prevail. Eh? Why be a tears, huh? It's okay. It's all right, don't it? It's okay. Now I believe what you told me back then. That sometimes bad things happen for good things to come. And indeed. <laughs> it is evident. Yes. Yeah. Um, I will come to your house later to give you my invitation. Ah! Oh! You are married? Yeah. Actually, it's my wife's wedding. I'm true with my traditional wedding. <laughs> Congratulations, Neo. Thank you. Congrats. Very much. Thank you. How? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, take care of yourself. Now my baby be dirty. I like him so, 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 so. How I love got to flow, flow, flow. Anyhow she be living for me. Cause I like him so, 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 so. How I love got to flow, flow, flow. Do you know what he told me this morning? That when it's time for me to get married, he will give me someone from the same pedigree. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? Like seriously? So, what did he say to you? Did you agree to all that? 
he thinks he's the only one who can sound like um, a dictator. He hasn't seen stubbornness yet. I will marry who I want. And if he refuses, I will run away with her kingdom. Oh, baby, you are right, it's your life, but so what's this man's problem? I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know. I have no clue this problem with the kingdom. But I will ask my mom to beg on my behalf. And if he refuses, then he should get ready for the biggest fight he's ever experienced in his life. Oh. I will marry who gives me happiness, not one stuffed up idiot he would manufacture from his, um, his, his clique of wealthy fools. Babe, it hasn't got into fight, but anyways, it's your life. Babes, you have bad mouth though. Don't tell me you're learning from me. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. I'm really angry. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, because I cannot call him that his car is stopped somewhere. Oh. I think it's faulty. So I have to pick him up and take him to his office. Okay, then let's go. Alright, bye. I came to thank you and your family especially because <laughs> if I had married the Kenny, I wouldn't have been where I am today. I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I, I tried though. Honestly, I tried to tell Ekene to marry you, but you know how men are. Uh, uh, I, 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 I told him that someone that can take care of a hotel can actually take care of a home. But no. uh, it's okay, Mama. Um, Mama, here, this is my wedding invitation. And Mama, I will be so glad if you would honor this invitation. Please. Don't worry, I will send my driver to come and pick you. I thought it's your brother. No, 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 that's not my brother. That's my driver. <laughs> hey. And he will come and pick you, not with this. Another. With another? Yes. Hi. Is it from the hotel? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama, uh, Mama, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Mama, take care of yourself. Okay. I will. Thank you. Bye. See you. <laughs> okay. See you. Do you still work at the hotel? No, Mama. Uh, yeah. I work for American. I want this girl in the future. I work for American. I want the future. Just because I complained once. Baby, listen baby, I have made my decision and nothing can change that. Listen, when I get home, I will talk to my mother to speak with my dad about this. I believe she's going to have him change his mind. Maybe that won't be necessary. Why do you, why do you say that? Or what do you mean? What's the use? He's your father. He has made his decision. I don't think there's anything anybody can do to make him change that. So why fight? It is my life, not his. I am the one who is caught in the middle. When he chose to marry my mother, did anyone stand in his way? Why does he want to wreck my happiness? He has said that we are not from the same class. And maybe he's right. Maybe you should look for someone of the same societal stratum as you. Oh, please, Ekene. I do not care about social standings or background. <sighs> Darling, you are my life. You are my everything. 
It is you that I love. And no one, no one can change that. If my father refuses to allow us to get married, I will abscond with you. Yes. You're not serious. I am ready to run away with you. Nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. What else will do? My father is so unfair. What is he doing to me? Lucien, he won't do that. He said he's going to cut off everything from me. He's going to cut my inheritance if I marry you. And Yemi, I do not think he's serious. It's just a threat. I I feel he wants to test your feet to see whether you're serious or not. Eh? You can't do that. Uh, baby, yeah, you don't know my father. My father is the most wicked person I've ever seen in this world. He would do exactly what he has said. Uh, is that why you're crying? I don't get it. Okay, if your father cuts you off, can't you fend for yourself and stand on your own? Uh, baby, see, yeah, you don't know how long I've waited for, for, for this inheritance. And if my father is as wealthy, as he is, then I don't have to work all my life. Yes. Do you know, do you know that my father is the chairman of many companies in this country, and I will now lose all my inheritance because of you. You don't know how painful. Yeah, no, no, no. You cannot be serious. You must be ridiculous. I, I want to understand. Do you mean to tell me that all this while you've not been planning for yourself? You're waiting for your father to die first so you can inherit all his money? Are you serious? It is my right. What I will do now is I will go and play with my mother, and she's the only one that can change his mind. Because this, 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 this money, this money must not pass me by. It must not pass me by. Fine. Um. I think we can do that first. Um, uh, for you to sit down here and start crying like a child, just go and talk to your mother. I think that is better. So we can solve this whole thing. Please, baby, really pray for me so that when my mother talks to him, he will give me my inheritance. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ushu. Uh, She was here. She was here to brag about her oil company husband. Eh? Mommy made a mistake. She should have come here earlier before now. Let me push her out of this compound. You would have pushed her out? Yes. I would tell her that she's not the only one whose husband works in an oil company. Are you thinking what I'm thinking now? Mama, what are you thinking? Uh, about Ezine. You know she's not happy. In short, I, I'm just thinking of what um, Maze Mbakwe said the other day. And what was that? That, you know, we've offended a lot of girls in the quest to find a wife for Ekene. Don't you think so? Nemesis. Neme what? Please, Mama, don't go there. So, how was the exam today? Very well, Mom. Good to hear. You must be very tired. Just tell me what you want to have for a lunch. I want to fix it myself. While you go in there and freshen up. Mom, I want to talk to you. Talk to me? About what? It is about Ekene and I. Oh, Uloma, not again. What is it about you and Ekene? Mother, please. I, I want you to help me talk to Daddy to reconsider his stand. I love Ekene so much, please. And he's the one I want to marry. 
Uloma. How can you talk like this? Tell me, is Ekene the only man in this world? Can't you see better men out there? There is no better man out there than Ekene. Mother, please. I, I love him. He's the man after my heart. Besides, when he gave me this ring, why did you say anything? Why are you people refusing us now? Nobody is refusing Ekene. It's just that your father thinks he's not the right man to inherit his wealth. I am not interested in his wealth. He can keep his money. Oh, mother, if I, if I do not marry Ekene, I will remain unmarried. And I will run away to somewhere you will never shut find up. me. I will never stop. What has come over you? How can you talk like this? Can't you think about yourself, whom you are? How can you bring a nobody, a pauper, to come to this place and marry you and inherit everything we've worked for? Please, j just go inside and freshen up, okay? I I'll fix your, your food. So, you are not going to help me talk to daddy? <sighs> okay, I will try, okay? I promise you, I will try. You know I love you so much. All right? I don't want to see your tears. You're just going and freshen up. I promise to talk to your dad, okay? I promise. Please. Thank All right. You. you don't want it to cry again, okay? Wealth, no wealth. Nobody forced me to marry him, and he had nothing there. Are you not done with this, your newspapers? Is my newspaper disturbing you? Not really. It's just that I want to talk to you about something. What is it? I spoke with you, Loma, today. You spoke with you, Loma? Yes. About what? About her marriage. My love, don't you think we should allow her to marry who she wants to marry? As for me, I think it's not right for you and I to interfere in her decisions. I mean, her private life. And it seems she's happy with this boy. So why not allow her to have her way? Please. Oh, you are not saying anything. What else do you want me to say? Eh? I've said everything that needed to be said about this issue. The man that will marry my daughter is the man that will inherit everything I've labored for through bucket loads of sweat and not a fly-by-night opportunist. Eh? A gold digger that wants to cash into the spoils of war that he never fought in. Look, this is the last thing I will say about this issue. Look, if you want us to live in peace in this house, I don't want you to raise this issue again. My love, how can you live in peace when your daughter is not happy? Okay, can't you make some sacrifice? Enough! You're working out on me. I'm talking about her happiness or her joy. Is it not still a man that will marry your daughter? Not, not even a, a woman. Eh? Your wealth, your wealth, your money. Can't anybody come and marry her and inherit all these things? Uh, he would listen to you. I spoke to Ekene. He sounded so broken and unhappy. This means that you have nothing to do concerning what I told you yesterday. No. What do you want us to do? Okay, please, we're going to do it. But please help me talk to Loma's father. I will not go to his house in respect of this matter. I will not. I'm very sorry. It is not my fault. 
Izzy, I love Izzy in a very, very much. It is my father that is the problem. It is your father, it is not your fault. You fell out there, mate. So, you knew you wanted to boot my daughter, yet you came here, sat down, eating my rice, and asking for extra pepper. Uh, uh, mommy, I actually wanted to tell you before I eat. You said I should go on first, and when I finish. Ibrahim, when you knew what you were here for, you decided to finish eating. So your father thinks that an Igbo girl, an educated one for that matter, is not good enough for you, okay? 